Hey everyone, it's me, the Bike Cowboy, and for today's video, we're going to be talking about having a 21-inch wheel on your Beta Explorer. So, let's get down to it. So why would you want a 21-inch? Well, we've done like this on our Surons, and my opinion in the past is that the 21-inch, it just like, makes it feel more like a dirt bike. You can handle like more bumps and potholes and more deeper patches of softer sand. And it's like works more efficiently in my opinion. Plus also on the Beta Explorer, it's a 1819 setup. And usually it's an 1821 setup on motorcycles. So it is kind of funny why they, they, they did it like that, but that's why we do this. And I've actually ridden this bike with it, with this 21 inch, and I felt very comfortable on it. It worked very efficiently. And I, I don't know, I, I think I would recommend it over having a 19 inch. I don't know, it's just your personal preference on what you would do on yours. Well, that was the why. Let's MX Electric tell you the how. Hi, this is MX Electric. And E-Bike Cowboy and I got our betas and we started riding them and felt, you know, very sketchy on the front. Uh, the front kind of tire didn't work really good. So we stayed with the 19 inch front wheels and then put um, Dunlop, mine's an MX-33, his is an MX-34. Between that, raising the bars and moving the pegs, that was a huge difference. But I still felt like going downhill that I wish I just had a bigger wheel. So. I had a 36 inch or a 21 inch 36 spoke warp nine rim from a Suron, a 21 inch. So I bought another wheel through the dealership for this and then gave them my rim and they sent it up to Buchanan spokes and they laced it up. It came back and then I put a Bridgestone M59, which is kind of a heavier tire for a 21 inch, but I really like that tire. I've used it for 20 years, so I really like it. Um, and then just put it on. Oh, it works so good. It's, especially when you're going, doing a lot of stuff. If you have a lot of trails and places where you're doing a lot of downhills, things like that, it's a huge difference. But it just makes the bike more stable. It, you know, that bigger wheel just keeps it going forward. So it holds its momentum over rougher ground and potholes and little whoops. It just you know goes over the top of them better so i like it it added about just over three pounds not quite about 3.2 pounds but this m59 is really a heavy tire so i think uh mx34 is about a pound lighter so if you could do this whole swap out for about two and a quarter pounds you know heavier than the stock 19 inch wheel with like the dunlop on it um, the only thing that was hard was Beta really puts their bolts in. So I snapped two Torx head and only got one bolt out. So I took that down to the dealership and they took them right out, no problem. And then I just used Warp 9 titanium you know, bolts like you would use on a Suron or like the rear wheel of a Suron. And um, those work perfect. Just put it all on and it works really good so in just everything and with this tire it's a little heavier but it works good works good in clay it works good in granite where it's loose with a hard base works good in topsoil it works good in sand so it's like a tire that'll just you know go anywhere the problem was there's no way you can run the fender you can see how close it is now and I didn't even want to waste time just folding the fender over, you know, underneath. So I had to, you got to take your fender off. And then I had to cut the bottom of the plate, you know, just cut it flat. And then I used the hole here for the fender where it comes up behind like, and bolts into the front of the triple clamp instead of from underneath. And then I just used, I think it was two um, 20 millimeter spacers and then just a longer I think it was around a three inch long bolt and then you know so that keeps the front number plate from going anywhere and then um, that's about it everything else 
went in really easy and cost it's going to cost you over four hundred dollars to it by the time you buy the tire and stuff it's probably going to be closer to you know 450. so if you really want it done right away that's what you do you can just order a warp 9 or any 21 inch um, rim with 36 spoke holes and you can send it to buchanan spokes and they'll do it for you the other thing is here's the good news warp 9 is going to be bringing out a wheel so theirs is going to be complete ready to go on these with a 220 millimeter rotor instead of these 210s and it'll have the whole kit and that's going to be available sometime probably towards the end of january early february they're going to start doing some parts for these later they're going to have sprockets for them um, they just said it's you know as they get more call for it more people call so you know just keep calling warp 9 and just bugging them because they if they see there's a demand for beta parts they're going to start adding more maybe a better set of bar risers and bar mounts and you know just all the little things but the front wheel they're also going to have a spoke kit where it's a 16 inch rim and with spokes so if you want to stay with your 19 front and run a 19 16 inch like you do on a lot of the surons or Telarias that you'll be able to run that on this. And so it'll just come. They said they'll charge you a small fee if you want to just send your wheel up and then they'll string it up for you. Or they'll just send you the kit and you can either do it yourself or take it to your local shop and, you know, run the 16. So, you know, just, you know, keep watching Warp 9's website, give them a call and they'll give you updates, really nice people. And, um, you know, next thing you know, we'll have a bunch of parts for these, so. Okay, well, two hip, gotta go. Well, that was the video on the 21 inch wheel for the Beta Explorer. So if you enjoyed this video, why not consider giving it a thumbs up? If you've been enjoying my content so far, why not consider to subscribe? And I will see you on the trails, my amigos.